Hey everyone, this is Sarah from the Style Vlog, and I'm super excited to be shooting a video for you guys today because I haven't shot one in about eight months. First off, if you haven't seen the video on my homepage, or you don't know who I'm talking about when I say Will, Will the Beast, or my brother, go watch that video. Go to youtube.com slash the style vlog. Watch that video and then come back to this one because you won't know what I'm talking about if not. So anyway, I just wanted to shoot an update video for you guys about what's been going on in my life these past 10 months or so. Um, first of all, I want to tell you like what we're doing to keep Will's memory and legacy alive and how we're trying to help people through him. And then I want to tell you kind of what's been going on in my life personally and then kind of tell you what videos I'm planning on shooting in the future. Also, if you want to see his memorial service that we have, his celebration of life service here in Joplin, you can go to youtube.com slash the style blog, which is my channel, and it's re it's on there. We recorded it, and I posted it for anyone who wants to see it. The really big thing that we've tra been trying to raise money for is called the Miracle Field, and it's going to be called the Will Norton Memorial Miracle Field here in Joplin. And if you've never heard of the Miracle Fields, it is so awesome. It allows children with disabilities to play baseball and it gives them a playground that's wheelchair and handicapped accessible so it's really really awesome these kids are each paired up with a buddy which is like sort of an older person like anyone can be a buddy I'm so excited that I get to be a buddy whenever um, our leagues start in the fall and so you get to be the buddy and you run around the bases with them and kind of help them and cheer them on and you're just like a support system for them which is really really cool I'm so excited for that so if you live in or near Joplin, you should definitely consider being a buddy. It's so, so awesome. I've seen videos on it. We've visited other Miracle Fields. It is the coolest thing. So we're super excited about that. And that should be, it's not built yet, but all the plans are finished and most of the money is raised. So they will start building it as soon as the city signs off on all the papers. But we have the land, we have everything ready. We're just waiting on them to build it. But it's supposed to be ready for fall leagues, fall 2012. So I'm so, so, so excited for that. And Will will be so excited that these children get to play baseball and fit in and act and be normal kids and have people who love them and support them. It's just going to be such an awesome thing for our community to have. The next thing that's super awesome is that um, the Ozark Center, which is a part of Freeman Hospitals here in Joplin, which Freeman is where my dad stayed for two weeks when we were in the hospital after the tornado. And so they opened up a children's trauma center. So they have psychiatrists there. They have social workers. It's basically to help traumatized children and so they named this place Will's Place after Will which is so so awesome. Will's Place is amazing because it helps so many children and not only children but it helps people. I've gotten texts from people my age that said hey I went to Will's Place and I met with a psychiatrist and I feel so much better and it's helped me so so much. My mom's gotten texts from her friends and they take their kids there to Will's Place. It's just such an awesome thing to have in our community as well as the Miracle Field. But this already exists. Um, Governor Nixon, he came down and had the ribbon cutting ceremony, I guess if you want to call it that. And he spoke a little bit. My dad spoke. Um, it was just a really, really cool ceremony. And it's decorated inside with African animals because they knew that Will loved Africa and he went to Africa. So they decorated it sort of in that theme with some browns and greens and blues, sort of that the, that color scheme and had African animals up on the walls and like stuffed toys. It's really, really awesome. It's the coolest center. It's really, really, really cool. And so we're so thankful that that's helping so many people. Like my dad said, he said, you'll always have a guardian angel watching over this place because it's named after Will and Will wants to help all these people. If Will could do anything in his memory, it would be to help everyone, to help children, to help anyone who needs help. He just wants everyone to be happy and enjoy life like he did. Another really cool thing is that um, we went to a memorial service for Will at Chapman University in California where he was going to attend film school and President Doty created the presidential scholarship and named it after Will for one student to receive every year which is really really awesome and then Joplin High there's a Will Norton memorial scholarship so kids graduating from there, if they're going into film, then they're eligible to receive the scholarship and a board will vote on who receives a scholarship every year. So that's really awesome as well. And here's a picture of Will's gravesite here in Joplin. And um, we really just wanted it to be somewhere where people could go and if they miss Will, just sit and they can sit on the bench and look up at the cross or kneel and pray and I just wanted something, it, it's six foot three like Will and it's sort of like a gray color like his Hummer because he loved that color 
and um, you can see his picture down at the bottom and his signature below it and then that font is a really cool stencil font that he really liked and so we wanted it to be six foot three so it just was this overwhelming cross and you can just sit there and look up at the cross and feel the power of God as you look up at it and how small we are here on earth but we're waiting on something so much bigger in heaven. Anyway, the reason I keep talking about this is because I don't want everyone to just feel sad all the time or feel sorry for me or be depressed. I don't, that's not what I want at all. I just want maybe you to think about, wow, life really is so fragile and it's, in any moment it can be gone. Because being 22 years old, I never thought about that. I was like, oh, I'm young, I'll live until I'm 70 and then I can worry about maybe dying in the next 20 years. But it's not like that at all. I now realize that life is so fragile and if you fight with someone, that could be your last moment with them. And if I would have fought with Will before he went to graduation and then I never got to see him again, I would have that on my heart for the rest of my life and I would regret it forever. So I just encourage you like, to not sweat the small stuff, not let stupid things ruin your relationships with people because you never know when the last time you're going to speak to them is. Um, always tell your family and your friends that you love them and that you care about them and just spend time with the people you love. That's kind of just what I wanted to get at with all of this because I never thought that you know, your life could be taken from you at 18 years old if you weren't smoking or drinking or driving crazy or anything like that if you wasn't brought on by yourself. So I just encourage you to live your life to the fullest like Will did every single day of his life. Be accepting, don't judge people, and just love life. And lastly, you can buy these Wildebeest tees. They say Wildebeest on the front and youtube.com slash Will on the back. And um, you can go to willnorton.bigcartel.com and I'll write that out and I'll put the link below the video for you guys. So the money raised from these t-shirt sales and you can buy these wristbands as well. They say Will the Beast on one side and it says in memory of Will Norton on the other side. And all the money raised from these goes to building the Will Norton Memorial Miracle Field here in Joplin that I just talked about. Okay, so I kind of want to tell you what's been going on in my life lately. Um, in December, 2011, I graduated from the University of Arkansas with a degree in finance. Even while I haven't been making videos these past eight months, I've gotten so many new subscribers and video views that I'm so happy that I'm coming back and um, I can talk to you all again and this is kind of a new fresh start because Will would want me to keep making videos like him. Obviously, he wouldn't want me to stop. And I feel like I'm finally ready that I can come back and make these videos for you again. I want to try to start with one video a week just for a few weeks and then maybe get back to two. I was at three before. I don't know if that's going to be possible before summer, but I will work my hardest to try because I really want to keep these videos coming. And I love the support you guys have all given me. I want to say just say thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of the prayers and thoughts and concerns and awesome letters and poems and cards that we've gotten. It is just so amazing and I'm so, so thankful for your support. And also I have another super exciting announcement. Um, my boyfriend of four years proposed to me on Easter Sunday, and um, so we're going to get married at the end of the summer. We've been waiting on this for a long time, just when the timing would be right, and so we've decided that we um, probably get married in August of this year. And so um, I just wanted to know if any of you guys wanted to see wedding videos, so like how to inexpensively plan your wedding, or how to find the right dress, wedding makeup, what to wear to a wedding, um, if you're not in the bridal party if you're just invited to the wedding. So let me know if you guys want to see those videos. So the next video I'm going to shoot here in just a few minutes um, it actually is a giveaway for some of these shirts. So be sure that you enter that giveaway um, and some wristbands because I want everyone who wants one to have one just so they can wear it around and tell people about Will and just keep his legacy continuing. And I can't forget to show you the newest addition to my family, Lydia. I got her when I went back to school in August and she is like my best friend. We snuggle every night, don't we? She's such a good dog. She's the best dog in the world. She is such a snuggle lap dog and I love her so much. So I'm super excited to shoot some new videos for you guys and I promise to keep them coming. Um, thank you so much for watching and supporting me and staying with me through this long break that we've had between videos. Um, I really appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!